What are the process of making a film and why is it important for you to learn it? Let's see. Welcome to Cinema Shoot Masterclass. We're gonna discuss the key stages of filmmaking and who does what in film. So how many stages of filmmaking production do we know of? Some people say three stages, some people say four, some people say five or six. Well, typically there are three stages of film productions and I'm gonna split it into seven stages. So they are also known as the pre-production, production and post-production. Let's split them into a wider group of seven stages and then explain about it, what they're gonna do. I'm gonna teach you in depth detail of each stage and why is it important for you to know and how you can improvise in making your films. Stage number one, development or planning. Before a film can get started, it needs to go through the development phase. The phase includes the creation, writing, organizing and planning of a film project. The budget must be set, cast goes through auditioning, location is decided and multiple scripts are written. The writers and directors create the storyboard to finance the film. Nothing is certain in development, but a film has the prospect of being made. There is no guarantee that a film development period won't be prolonged or often resulting in the projects being canceled or indefinite delay. Film studio will need to work out logistic, they have to confirm a budget and procure right to any digital media after the film. Development ends with the pitching of the idea of the writer or the director to the producer. Stage number two, pre-production. This is a phase where you would narrow down the option of the production. It is where all the planning takes place before the camera rolls and sets the overall vision of the project. Pre-production also includes working out the shoot. Filmmaker need to know where they're able to shoot and casting. Who's gonna be in the film? How much of the budget they're gonna end up spending? and this sort of things. Any changes might come up, like in the last minute, they also need to have a crew member lineup, sets and costumes created, work with local cities and corporations to film in different parts of the sets. Yeah, just one keynote, the more prep the filmmaker is, the better the film can end up. There should also be backup plans in case things change, like if the city having an emergency that prevents the project from being made. Like Batman. Batman, for example, 2021, post-corona, it was filmed in Liverpool, Scotland, New York, all over the world. One reason, it was seen as a content project. Yeah, that was one reason, but the main reason was they had a backup plan for the corona. Yes, it was right here in Liverpool, just two miles away from where we're filming this right now. So, planning is important. Do not forget the risk assessment, ethical assessment in your planning. In your planning stage, Health and safety is your number one priority in business. If you die, you're out of business. It's as simple as that. So, don't die. Also, you're gonna make sure you get any legal agreements you're gonna need, like the actor release form, location release forms, things like that. Sign them before you start your shooting day. You don't wanna argue and fight about this after you've completed your film and you're gonna go to a whole lot of trouble on that, believe me. So once the pre-production phase is complete, it is onto the filming phase of the production. The producer will now hire a line manager or a production manager to create a schedule and budget for the film. Stage number three, production or shooting day. Make sure you're confident with your equipment before you start filming, this is very important. Spend time practicing a short film. The things that doesn't matter, you're just gonna practice on. So before you start being serious in filmmaking, make sure you have a lot of rehearsals. You shoot, shoot a bit more than what you need. You're gonna realize that in, in, a, in a couple of first takes. If you shoot hours of footage, it'll take you forever to sort it out to find the bits you want. So for a one minute drama film, you're gonna end up shooting somewhere between three to five minutes of video if you're, a pro, if you're like a professional. The documentary is where you can't control the situation, you will need to feel much more than this. Stage number four, principal photography, also known as the shooting, the production. This is when the camera rolls. It's nearly always the most expensive phase of film production. Actor salaries, directors, set crew salaries, as well as the cost of a certain shots, props, onset, special effects, things like that. Everything that's happened up to this point is to make principal photography to go as smoothly and efficiently as possible. So communication between all parties is a key commodity. It's crucial, especially during the shoot and the production should like maintain a full set of record of everything they do. So if during this phase, it is, it is a key to keep planning ahead of the day shooting. Have all the planning before this stage. The primary aim is stick to the budget and the schedule, which, which needs a lot of planning. One keynote. Communication is a key between location, sets, office, production, companies, distribution, in short, all parties are involved. So you're gonna have a good communication with everyone. Strong production depends on a strong communication. 
So director must be clear of their vision. Same with the producer. They need to be clear of the production. They need to know exactly what, where they're gonna go, what they're gonna do, who they're gonna call. What's the backup plan? So the film is ready to roll. Production is the quickest and sometimes the shortest portion of filmmaking a stage. How long it takes to film? Depends on variables like the number of locations, length of the film, any of the key members goes on holiday, I don't know, such as Lee, it usually doesn't happen. <laughs> or any unexpected event interrupting this schedule, you know? Just giving you an example. Production itself is even more challenging. With high profile films, reports of a bad production can sell the film's reputation before anyone has even seen it. Waterloo, for example, had a budget balloon to $100 million estimating. I don't know behind the scenes, I don't want to talk about that. It resulted in a lot of toxic bulbs. But the film eventually made a bit of profit after it was released at the box office. But more fascinating is a Titanic, for example, they defied a rocky production to dominate at the Oscar and at the point, the crown of the highest crossing film of all time was given to the Titanic. So after the first sequence of the scene is filmed, it is time to go to another stage. Stage number five, wrap. The period immediately after shooting ends. It is when we strike or dismantle the set and clear the location. Everything must be returned in good order to suppliers and there must be a full set of record on the shot. So make sure, make sure, make sure you hit all your checklists before you declare a wrap. Stage number six, post-production. Well, this is stage start when principal photography ends, but they may overlap. The bulk of a post-production consists of reviewing the footage and assembling the movie in editing suits. There will be contribution as required from visual effects, also known as the VFX, music and sound design, also known as the SFX. The picture will now be locked and the delivery elements will be created according to the plan. So the post-production is when the footage is edited, visual effects are added, music is composed, and all titles of files and things like that. Editing is one of the most important part of making a film. It is easy to overlook. Editors need to create a pace for the film. If a film is dragged or the plot develops at too accelerated of the rate, the blame can be placed only for the bad editing. Well, despite its name, post-production happens in conjunction with filming sometimes. Well, most of the times, really. Since the editor, like, the effect artists, sound designers and composers, they don't need to be on call for scenes. They can spend this time fulfilling their roles. They're gonna point out the things that they're gonna stop them from making the best job possible on the editing. Then with that stage, the filmmaking process knocking out of the way, the director, editor and the assistant editor huddle into an edit bay to piece together the film until it is complete. Naturally, this phase includes test screening so that the editor can better hit the mark. And finally, the last stage of film production, my favorite one, distribution. Once the film is completed, it must be distributed. This is how producers make their money back and a considerable amount of time and energy will be invested to secure the right distribution deal for the project. So the film is gonna go to the cinema or box office or they're gonna get distributed through Amazon Prime, Netflix, social platforms, cinemas, theaters, home video, digital media, streaming, all sorts of services like they're gonna distribute to all of them. So what kind of distribution a film gets depends on its quality and the pull of a filmmaker or a studio. Oh, also another thing, film festivals. Submitting a film to a film festival will give you a lot of fame. So filmmakers like the Quentin Tarantino, they've gone from obscurity to fame thanks to the film festival success that they had in their life. Distribution equals profit. The better distribution receives, the more it can hope to profit. So if a filmmaker have a reasonable expectation with their distribution, they can always make a good profit. Some of the films, they do not get released right away. So if a studio is in a stadium, they are pleased with the, with the final cut or the film of a digital media, they might demand reshoot or delay the film. Films that have a long period between post-production and releasing or distribution areas, also known as sitting on the shelf. To avoid this, you need to have a strong planning for that. So, these are the seven stages of the filmmaking. There are more masterclasses in our fridge specifically about the stages of film production. Don't forget to check them out too. So I hope you learned something new and enjoyed this masterclass. Like, subscribe and share our masterclass. Support us with your love. Share this film with your team so they can learn and execute better. Have a nice day.